DB2 architecture. This is the architectural uh, diagram of DB2. DB2 is a family of data management products including database servers uh, developed by IBM. They initially supported the relational model but were extended to support object relational features and non-relational structures like JSON and XML. The brand name was originally styled as DB4-2 then DB2 until 2017 and finally changed to its uh, present form. Now we are focusing on clients and IBM data server client is an application where you can run commands and SQL statements against a DB2 server connect to a remote DB2 server and access its databases. Here you can see a Squirrel SQL client. Uh, here you can see it's uh, drilling down to the ACCT table. As an example, uh, we can consider these steps. Uh, these steps are required to set up a DB2 client to use TCP IP communications. Uh, step 1 identify and record parameter values. Step 2 uh, configure the client, resolve the server's host address, update the services file. Uh, Catalog a TCP IP node, catalog the database, test the connection between the client and server. As an uh, error example, we can consider SQL 30061 uh, connecting to the wrong IBM mainframe database server location. No, uh, no target database can be found. Uh, now we are focusing on uh, client application. Uh, an IBM data server client is an application where you can uh, run commands and SQL statements against a DB2 server, connect to a remote DB2 server and access its databases. Here you can see a SQL, SQL client this uh, drilling down to the ACCT table here. Uh, as an example we can consider this code segment. Uh, in Java, uh, this is uh, how to connect to a data source. Uh, and uh, how to perform a select in uh, JDBC. Uh, client application programming interfaces are uh, uh, 
పిఓ కోరి జేడిబిసి ఎస్క్యూఎల్జ ఓడిబిసి వెబ్ సర్వీసెస్ అండ్ డిబి టూ డేటా బేస్ అడిన్స్ ఫర్ విజువల్ స్టూడియో as an error example we can consider plus 4204 uh, error code issued by the IBM data server driver for JDBC and SQLJ when you call the SQL exception dot get message method after a IBM data server driver for JDBC and SQLJ error occurs a string is returned uh, here the message text uh, is uh, errors were encountered and tolerated as specified by the return data until close uh, if you give an explanation uh, tolerated errors include federated connection authentication and authorization errors this warning applies only to connections to db2 on linux unix and windows uh, system servers it is issued by issued only when a cursor operation such as result set dot net or result set dot previous call returns false a SQL state is 02506 uh, DB DB2 server a DB2 server is a relational database management system RDBMS that delivers data to its IBM data server clients if you plan to use a database that reside on this computer install a DB2 server as an example we can consider get database configuration returns the values of individual entries in a specified database configuration file command syntax get database configuration db config csg for database alias show detail as an example SQL 5443 sorry uh, it's uh, SQL 5043N support for one or more communications protocols fail to start successfully however core database manager functionality started successfully perhaps TCP IP protocol is not started on the DB2 connect server there might have been a successful client connection previously if DIAG level is uh, equal 4 then the DB2 DIAG log files might contain a similar entry now we are moving into coordinator agent each database connection from a client application has a single active agent that coordinates its work on the database after the coordinator agent is created it performs all database request on behalf of its application and communicates to other agents using interprocess communication communication IPC or remote communication protocols each agent operates with its own private memory and shares database manager and database global resources such as the buffer pool with other agents when a transaction completes 
the active coordinate agent might become an inactive agent. When a client disconnects from a database or detach from an instance, its coordinate agents will be an active coordinate agent if other connections are waiting, freed and marked as idle if no connections are waiting and the maximum number of pool agents is being automatically managed or has not been reached, terminated and its storage freed if no connections are waiting and maximum number of pool agents has been reached. Here you can see uh, how DB2 would handle a simple query such as select a strict from T1. Here uh, you can see uh, DB2 client, DB2 server, here uh, coordinate agent, package cache, lock list, package cache, uh, buffer pool, buffer uh, log buffer, prefetches, page cleaners, logger, SA in or disk are here. Here uh, we are considering uh, query uh, query is sent to DB2 server. First, the client send the query to the server. A coordinate uh, 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 coordinate and a uh, coordinating agent is either allocated from a pool or created to serve each application when it connects. There is only one coordinator agent for each query. Different coordinator agents exist to serve other queries on other connections. Each connection has only one coordinator agent. Here action plan is compiled. The coordinator agent check to see if there is an action plan for this query in the package cache. If there is a plan, the coordinator agent can use it. And uh, if there is not a plan, an access, uh, an access plan is compiled and placed into the package cache. Here we are considering uh, data is retrieved. Uh, there are three main ways that DB2 can get the extents it needs with the data to fill, uh, fulfill the query. All data that is not L uh, LOB data moves through the buffer pools. Uh, first and fastest way DB2 can get data uh, is if the extents it needs are already in the buffer pool. If it uh, if the extents needed are there, the coordinator agent can read the data directly from the memory. Uh, if the extent needed are not in the buffer pools, uh, then coordinator agent must go directly to the disk and read the extents it needs into the buff uh, into the buffer pool from the disk.
this much uh, the, this is much slower than uh, simply reading data from buffer from the buffer pool as the coordinate agent must wait for the data to be read from the disk disk caching uh, may make this access faster uh, to avoid uh, the slower uh, synchronous uh, synchronous this access method the uh, Uh, prefetches may be triggered to read data that is uh, predicted to be needed uh, into the buffer pools before the coordinate agents need it. This is called uh, uh, Asynchronous I.O. Uh, locking. Depending on the isolation level, locks may be acquired during the process of any query, including selects. If locks are required, the data about the locks is written into the lock list. When locks are released depends on the isolation level. All locks are released on a commit which is outside of the scope of this uh, presentation. Uh, returning data uh, once all the data has been gathered coordinator agent returns data to the client as an example we can consider max underscore code agents maximum number of coordinator, uh, coordinating agents configuration parameter Applied to database server with local and remote clients, database server with local clients, partition database server with local and remote clients. Uh, default, uh, this is the default, uh, this is default to 200. Uh, with the with automatic uh, minus one and uh, the range is one to sixty four thousand a setting of minus one translate into the value of two hundred as an uh, error example we can consider this error uh, if a PDF environment uh, sorry uh, if uh, in a DPF environment an application may hang with the agent stuck in a pending remote request state on a coordinator node. This can happen if the coordinator nodes start time was later than the other nodes. The coordinator agent stack shows that it is stuck in SQKF channel receive buffer it is waiting for a reply from another node and that node may have an error in the db2 dial uh, diag dot log uh, log similar to one uh, one here now we are considering a log buffer all changes to regular data any data type except BLOBs, long watcher and data in global temporary tables and index pages are returned to the log buffer. 
the data in the log buffer is written to disk by the logger. The mechanism of logging the database changes allows you to recover the data to the point of failure when a system crash is encountered. Here you can see a commit in a DB2 LUW database Linux, Unix and Windows. Here an agent writes a commit rec uh, record to the log buffer. Then uh, the logger process then uh, writes the log buffer to the disk. Here yeah. either immediately or shortly based on min commit or and other factors. Uh, the agent wait for the acknowledgement from the logger process that the log records for the agent's commit have been externalized to the disk up to and including that commit record. More than one agent may be await, uh, waiting at a time since this is where end users are waiting on physical I.O. It makes sense to apply your uh, fastest disk to the transaction log. Note that the commit does not touch buffer pools uh, or table space data. As uh, statements have come through, they have been writing all the information for both undo and redo to the log buffer. So it's already there or in the transaction log files waiting for the commit. If a database crashes, then when it comes back up, it goes through a process called crash recovery which look at the transaction log files and rolls forward to any transaction needed. After it completes that forward uh, phase of crash recovery, it goes and rolls ba uh, back any transactions that were in the log files and were not committed. Here you can see uh, an insert statement into a raw organized table is being executed and is uh, subsequently committed. Uh, the statement is uh, insert into TAB1 and val uh, values are uh, row 1 then commit. Here table 1 the page is uh, 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 read into buffer pool. Row is added to page row 1. The log, rec uh, log record is written. Here. Uh, log sequence number of log record placed into the page here then commit log, re uh, log record written log buffer up to commit flush to disk not uh, Pre 9.8 uh, log records do uh, do not contain the log sequence number done here for illustrative purposes. As an example, we can consider log buf 
S Z log buffer size configuration parameter. This parameter allows you to specify the amount of the database heap defined by the DB heap parameter to use as a buffer for long records before writing these records to disk. Unit of measure pages 4 kilobyte. Log records are written to disk when one of the following occurs. A transaction commits or a group of transactions commit as defined by the min commit configuration parameter. The log buffer is full as a result of some other internal database manager event. As an uh, uh, example, we can consider log buffer is full situation. Then the log records are written to the disk. Now uh, we are considering uh, loggers. The data in the log buffer is written to disk by logger. The mechanism of logging the database changes uh, allows you to recover the data to the point of failure when a system crash is encountered. Here you can see the concept of transaction logging. Um, to illustrate this process, uh, assume a user issues the this uh, state uh, these statements update t1 uh, set year equal 2000 where id equal 007 update uh, t1 set year equal 2001 where id equal uh, 001 commit update t1 set year equal 004 where id equal 003 As uh, this statement is uh, 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 written here like this for illustration purposes only, uh, and uh, as each as uh, each statement is executed, this uh, this following uh, steps takes place. Here we use uh, the first update statement for illustra uh, illustration purposes and uh, the DB2 optimizer passes the query and determines that using index ix1 is the fastest way to retrieve the desired data and index page access followed by a data page access is required uh, here is step one uh, this is in a DB2 memory in RAM uh, in the physical view here and this is logical view table one and index uh, IX1 so here uh, the db2 optimizer passes the query and determines that using uh, index ix1 is the fastest way to retrieve the desired data and index page access is followed by a data page access is required uh, in the, uh, this in the logical view uh, Uh, in the step one, uh, the statement and access plan information is stored in the package cache. 
So this is the package cache in uh, DB2 memory in RAM in physical view. Uh, so here you can see the statement in this diagram here. Then uh, the extent containing the desired, uh, desired index page. Uh, is both uh, is brought back uh, brought from disk to the buffer pool. The uh, extent containing the desired uh, desired. index page is here and uh, then uh, the index points to the to a record in the data page and thus the extent containing the pertinent data page is also brought from the disk to buffer pool here to here, here, and uh, yep, here to here. Then uh, the update operation take place in the buffer pool. Uh, uh, the up, uh, update operation is recorded in the uh, log buffer. The old and new values uh, are kept uh, in case the operation need to needs to be reverted. Here you can see old and new value here. DB2 checks to see if the log buffer is full or if min commit commits have been performed. If any of these occurred, the information in the log buffers is written to the log files in the disk for logs. Here. The min commit uh, uh, the min commit database configuration parameter indicates the maximum number of commit commands required before writing from the log buffer to the disk for the logs. Logs files can contain committed or uncommitted uh, data. When a crash recovery happens, DB2 will undo any statement that was not committed and will redo any statement that were committed. Uh, not true that the information that has changed in the buffer pool uh, and that was returned to the log files uh, has not yet been saved in the disk for the uh, database. This will eventually happen when page cleaners, uh, uh, page cleaner processes are run to clean the modified pages in the buffer pool and write them to disk. Uh, um, This is not done immediately after after the statement is executed or performance reason. DB2 is already storing the information in the log files on disk. Uh, so 
so there is no need to perform another IO right away to store the change pages to the database uh, disk when the data is commit, uh, committed and saved in the disk uh, for the database the data is considered to be uh, externalized as an example we can consider db2 call sys uh, proc dot audit underscore delim underscore extract with title uh, and title and uh, forward slash home forward slash big sql forward slash audit extract forward slash home forward slash big uh, sql forward slash uh, archive percentage mark uh, 201502 uh, 421 percentage now you can use the audit underscore DLIM underscore extract stored procedure to extract audit data to ASCII delimit, uh, the delimited files with one record per line. The stored procedure format is uh, audit underscore delim underscore extract delim uh, delimiter target directory source directory file mask and uh, event options as an uh, example we can consider db2 sql error sql code equal uh, minus 204 and uh, sql state uh, equal uh, 242704 uh, and uh, sql uh, error mc equal fte log dot transfer underscore event driver equal 3.40.152 the SQL state value of 4 uh, 4 indicates that the that the table that the logger expected to ex exist in this case FTL uh, F, uh, FTE log dot transfer underscore event does not exist now we are considering uh, hard drive hard drives generally have several disk or tatters with an electromagnetic read write head for each surface the entire assembly is called a comb a microprocessor in the drive controls the notion, motion of the heads and also contain RAM to store data for transfer to and from the disk. The heads move across the disk surface as it spins up to 15,000 revolutions per minute. The drives are uh, hermetically sealed, uh, permitted the heads to float on a thin film of air very close to the disk surface. A small current is applied to the head to magnetize tiny spots on the disk surface for storage. Similarly, uh, magnetized spots on the disk generate currents in the head as it moves by enabling data to be read. FDD is function similar, uh, similarly, but the removable diskets spin at only a few hundred revolutions per minute. Uh, here you can see uh, high availability disaster recovery data flow uh, each rest rectangle in the diagram uh, represent a thread also known as EDU engine dispatchable unit in DB2 engine threads are uh, threads relevant to HADR are DB2 agent thread that serves SQL client connections multiple threads per database DB2 LOGGW 
thread that writes logged records to log files, one per database. DB2HADRP HADR primary uh, side EDU, one per database. DB2 HADRS HADR standby site EDU one per database DB2 LFR LFR log file reader thread one per database DB2 shred shredder edu sheds log pages into log records one per database DB2 redo m redo replay master thread one per database db2 redo w redo replay worker thread multiple threads per database uh, on the primary side the agent inserts log records into log buffer whose size is controlled by uh, database configuration parameter log buf as you said here the other agents so these agents uh, insert log record into the log buffer uh, and uh, the db tool log G, uh, gw edu logger writes the records into log files uh, log records are of variable si uh, sizes They are packed into fixed uh, 4KB, 4 kilobyte log pages for log writing, uh, reading and shipping. In uh, pure state, HADR, the DB2 HADRP. Uh, edu directly send log pages to the from the logger to the buffer it does not make a copy in remote catch up state hadr reads log pages from log files via the uh, db2 il uh, uh, ifr uh, sorry, uh, uh, DB2 LFR log file reader EDU. Again, uh, HADR directly send log, uh, log pages from LFR output buffer. HADR send log pages via a TCP connection. In the uh, standby side, HADR the, uh, the DB2 HADRS EDU 
receives the pages into it, its own buffer whose size is controlled by registry variable db2 underscore hadr underscore buf underscore size. The uh, default buffer size is two times primary, uh, two times uh, primary is log uh, buf as you said. This is also the minimal. Uh, any db2 underscore hadr underscore buf underscore size setting smaller than this is ignored. hadr edu writes the received pages into log files uh, to protect against crash. Uh, log records must be written to disk before they can be replayed. To replay logs, uh, so here and uh, to uh, replay logs the db2 shred uh, edu shredder sheds log pages into uh, log records then passes the records to replay master db2 r uh, redo m who dispatches the records to multiple replay workers uh, db2 redo w when log spooling first available in db2 version 10.1 is disabled when the standby is receiving uh, logs from primary Peer or remote catch-up state, the shredder only reads directly from HADR receive buffer. This is uh, more efficient uh, than reading from disk. That buffer, but the buffer page cannot be released for receive again until it has been fed to shredder for replay. If replay is slow, incoming pages will uh, fill up the buffer and HADR will have to stop receiving eventually blocking log write uh, on the primary if HADR is in peer state. In other states such as local catch-up, shredder can read uh, from disk, uh, disk via LFR uh, DB2 uh, LFR EDU. Uh, when spooling is enabled, so shader reads from HADR uh, received buffer if data is available in the buffer otherwise it reads from disk. HADR EDU will release a buffer page for re-receive after it has been fit into disk. Even if it has not been fed to shader, shader will read it back from the disk. Uh, later hadr will stop receiving only when spooling device the logging device is full or configured hadr is underscore spool underscore limit is reached so this is the db2 shader <coughs> as an uh, example we can consider log primary this parameter specified the number of primary logs of size log uh, fil siz that will be created. The primary log file, whether empty or full, requires the same amount of disk space. Thus, if you configure more logs than you need, you use disk space unnecessarily. If you configure too few logs, you can encounter a log full condition. As you select the number of logs to configure, you must consider the size of uh, size you make each log and whether you, uh, your application can handle a log full condition. The total log size, log file size limit on active log space is uh, 16,384 gigabyte when circular logging is configured and uh, uh, 524,288 gigabyte when archiving logging is configured 
if you are enabling an existing database for roll forward recovery change the number of primary logs to the sum of the number of primary and secondary logs plus one as an error example we can uh, consider this uh, error the transaction log for the database is full SQL uh, code is uh, minus 964 SQL state is uh, 5700011 now we are considering a common prefetch request queue with uh, prefetch DB2 agent send a synchronized read ahead request to a common prefetch uh, request queue as prefetches become available they implement those requests by using pick block or scatter read input operations to bring requested pages from disk to the buffer pool here you can see uh, the daily is uh, synchronized non prefetch access versus the asynchronized preface access of uh, a database on db2 linux unix windows 9.7 here synchronized need, uh, synchronized reads here synchronized reads and uh, sing, uh, average synchronized read time synchronized uh, reads uh, as an example here we can consider the daily asynchronized non prefetch access versus the synchronized prefetch access of a database on db2 linux unix uh, windows 9.7 here you can see asynchronized read uh, uh, sorry here you can see synchronized reads uh, here you can see asynchronized reads now we are considering a deadlock detector because applications do not voluntarily release locks on data that they need a deadlock detector process is required to break deadlocks the deadlock detector monitors information about agents that are waiting on locks and awakens at intervals that are specified by the DLCHK time database configuration parameter here you can see a deadlock that, uh, between applications uh, in this example you can see uh, here uh, there are two applications running concurrently application A application B uh, the first transaction for application A uh, is to update the first row in table uh, 1 here and uh, then this and the second transaction is to update the second row of table 2 here application B updates the second row in the table 2 yeah to first uh, and uh, then the first row of the uh, in the application 1 here first row in the table 1 here at, uh, at time T1 at time t1 uh, application a locks the first row in the table one here it's locked uh, at the same time application b uh, lock the second row in the table two here in uh, time t2 uh, application a request a lock uh, on the second row in the table 2 here at the time t2 here uh, uh, application a uh, uh, how at the same time the application b uh, tries to lock the 
and however at the same time application B tries to lock the first row in table 1 here because application A will not release its lock on the first row in the table 1 here until it can complete an update to the second row of table 2 the, an application B will not release uh, its lock on the second row in the table 2 until it can complete an update to the first row in the table 1 a deadlock occurs uh, the, applic uh, the application wait until one of them releases uh, uh, its lock on the data as an example we can consider this uh, here uh, a database is uh, created then connected uh, connect connected then tables are created uh, table 1 table 2 here uh, lo uh, lock the table in exclusive mode in session 1 then uh, session 2 also now connect to the database and lock the table 2 in exclusive mode so uh, in uh, session 1 lock the table 2 in uh, shared mode so it's already locked in exclusive mode so session 1 should be waiting for the commit and in session 2 lock the table uh, uh, 1 uh, in uh, shared mode but table 1 is already like, uh, locked by session 1 in exclusive mode so session should be uh, waiting on session 1 so uh, both session 1 and 2 are waiting uh, for the table uh, uh, table 1 and 2 uh, so uh, uh, both are now in uh, deadlock so both session will be deadlocked uh, until the deadlock detector find it and uh, will then error uh, with uh, minus 911 and one of the transaction will be rolled back and the other will continue so uh, this is the error produced uh, with that uh, previous example uh, sql 0911n the current transaction has been rolled back because of a deadlock or timeout reason code to sql state equals 0 over 40001 uh, we can consider dl chk time as an example uh, to 2 time interval for checking deadlock configuration parameter this parameter defines the frequency at which the database manager checks for deadlocks among all the applications connected to a database default 10,000 it means 10 seconds range uh, 1,000 uh, to uh, 600,000 unit of measure in uh, in milliseconds now we are considering uh, sub agents the coordinator agent distributes database requests to sub agents and these sub agents perform the request for ap the application after the coordinator agent is created it handles all database requests on behalf of its application by coordinating the sub agents that perform requests against the database in db2 version 9.5 sub agents can also exist in non partitions environment and in environments where uh, intraquery parallelism is not enabled in this diagram you can see coordinate uh, agent retrieving rows from three sub agents here uh, coordinate agent receives rows and uh, maybe racking up FC, uh, FC, fcm underscore receive underscore wait time here uh, sub agents sending rows to the coordinator and maybe tracking up to fcm underscore send underscore wait time
as an example we can consider mon underscore get underscore agent the mon underscore get underscore agent function returns a list of all agents fence mod processes uh, db2 fmp processes uh, and system entities for the database the list can be filtered to show information for a specific member service class or application table function syntax is uh, mon underscore get underscore agent service underscore superclass underscore name and uh, service uh, subclass name service handle and, uh, and member we can take ex uh, uh, max uh, as an example too we can take max agent this parameter indicates the maximum number of database manager agents with the coordinate coordinator agents or sub agents available at given time to accept application requests default is uh, 200 uh, uh, and range is uh, 1 to 64000 and again default 400 on partition database server with local and remote clients and uh, one um, uh, range is 1 to 64000 on partition uh, database server with local and remote clients unit of measure is a counter as an error example we can consider this error uh, no memory available in application control heap uh, DIA 8300C a memory heap has occurred. Uh, if DB uh, yeah, uh, DB uh, if the if a DB2 agent fails to allocate sub agent due to insufficient uh, APPL underscore control uh, CTRL underscore heap underscore as you said, you uh, see this uh, error message in uh, DB to dia g dot log now we are considering a buffer pool a buffer pool is an area of main memory that has been allocated by database manager for the purpose of caching table and index data as it is read from disk every db2 database must have a buffer pool here you can see uh, table spaces and buffer pools the example uh, database has five table spaces uh, one catalog two regular one large and one system tem uh, temporary table space Uh, no user temporary table space was created. There are eight containers. Uh, in this example, buffer pools uh, might be assigned as uh, follows. Uh, uh, um, BP1 uh, buffer pool 1. 4 kilobyte to system cat space and user space 2 and uh, buffer uh, pool 2 8 kilobytes uh, to user space 1 and buffer pool uh, 3 32 kilobytes to larger uh, space and uh, system here yeah. as an example you can consider this uh, statements uh, this is statements uh, uh, this SQL statements are uh, in DB2 uh, DB2 alter buffer full uh, IBM default TBP size uh, new size in uh, 4096 byte pages and DB2 alter buffer pool uh, uh, LDAP B, P size new 
size in uh, 32,768 byte per pages here and uh, The older buffer pool statement is uh, used to modify the characteristics or behavior of a buffer pool. There are a number of reasons to use the older buffer pool statement. For example, to enable self-tuning memory. The older buffer pool statement can modify a buffer pool in the following ways. Modify the size of buffer pool on all members or on a single member. Enable or disable automatic sizing of the buffer pool. Add this buffer pool definition to a new database partition group and modify the block area of the buffer pool for block based I.O. As an error example, we can consider this one. Uh, when using the administration console, you may experience slow response time times possibly day to the DB2 buffer pools not being started. There is or previously was not enough memory for DB2 to start its buffer pools. Even though the low memory situation has been resolved, DB2 might still not be able to start its buffer pools. Uh, now we are considering page cleaners. In a well-tuned system, it is usually the page cleaner agents that write changed or dirty pages to disk. Page cleaner agents perform I.O. as background processes and allow application to run faster because their agents can perform actual transaction work. Page cleaner agents are sometimes referred to as asynchronized page cleaners or asynchronized buffer writers because they are, on, they are not coordinated with the work of other agents and work only when required. Here, uh, here you can see uh, asynchronized page cleaning. Uh, dirty pages are written out of out to disk. Uh, here you can see uh, without page cleaners. This is database agent. Buffer pool is here, and uh, uh, here no room for new page. Here, then uh, uh, remove uh, later remove uh, removes dirty page. Then uh, then database agent can add a new page with page cleaners. Database agent add uh, a new page. The buffer pool is here, and uh, here uh, we have uh, synchronized page cleaner it's uh, remove dirty pages and we have space here uh, remove uh, the uh, dirty pages then uh, and uh, write pages to hard disk here we can consider uh, as an example we can consider um, this uh, db2 set db2 underscore use underscore alternate underscore page underscore cleaning equal on here uh, when you set the db2 underscore use underscore alternate underscore page underscore cleaning registry variable to on page cleaners uh, behave more proactively in choosing which dirty pages get written out Example 2, uh, we can consider num underscore io cleaners. This parameter allows you to specify the number of asynchronized page cleaners for a database. Uh, default value is automatic and um, range is, uh, is from uh, 0 to two uh, 255. Unit of measure is uh, counter. Uh, As an error example, we can consider this uh, this error out of memory DIA8533C. The, uh, the system memory limit was reached. 
if a page cleaner is written return an out of memory error sql or underscore mem while collecting outstanding asynchronous input output will uh, it will cause the uh, the instance of panic on uh, database partitioning feature and pure SQL environments uh, the above message can be seen in db2 di ag.log uh, now we are, we are considering uh, prefetches prefetches read data from the input output subsystem to have it available at the time of requesting uh, engine uh, uh, dispatchable unit needs it for processing the prefetches uh, engine dispatchable units provides the data requested by db2 agents or the db2 buffer manipulators here you can see uh, uh, here you can see uh, the life and times of a prefetch request uh, uh, here this is uh, agent locates an available prefetch request from a uh, uh, pre lists from a free, uh, from a free list here uh, this is the agent and uh, then uh, agent populate the prefetch request with uh, info about what pages to prefetch and uh, places it on the prefetch queue here um, prefetcher retrieves the populated prefetch request uh, from the prefetch queue prefetcher dri uh, drives the logical input output for requested pages uh, This is the buffer pools, uh, and these are the buffer pools. And then uh, physical input output takes place for any pages that are not already in the buffer pool. Here, yeah. uh, and uh, prefetcher reset the prefetch uh, request. And places it back on the prefetch, uh, prefetch, on a prefetch, uh, on a free list. And uh, agent executes the logical input output for the prefetch uh, pages here. So this is the life and times of a prefetch request. As an example, we can consider these uh, table space parameters, uh, page size in bytes, extent size in pages, and prefetch size uh, in pages. Uh, table space, these are page space parameters really relevant for prefetching. The physical size of a prefetched uh, request is limited by the uh, uh, these configuration parameters of the table space holding the data. As an error example, we can consider this error message. A buffer pool logic error has occurred. The problem has been observed in 32-bit uh, DB2 instances running on 32-bit releases of SUSC Linux Enterprise Server SLES 11. A vector um, read issued by a prefetcher may fail with the above symptoms present in the DB2 diagnostic log file. Now we are uh, considering uh, hard disks. Uh, hard disk, also called hard disk drive or hard drive magnetic storage medium for a computer. 
Hard disks are flat circular plates made of aluminum or glass or uh, and coated with magnetic material. Hard disk for personal computers can store terabytes, trillions of bytes of information. Data are stored on their surfaces in concentric uh, tracks. A small electromagnetic called a magnetic head writes a binary dig uh, digit 1 or 0 by magnetizing tiny spots on the spinning disk in different locations and reads digits by detecting the magnetization direction of the spots. A computer's hard drive is a device consisting of several hard disks read-write heads. A drive motor to spin the disks and the small amount of electricity all sealed in the metal case to protect the disk from dusk. dust. In addition to referring to the disk themselves, the term hard disk is also used to refer to the whole of a computer's internal data storage. Beginning in the early 21st century, some personal computers and laptops were produced that used solid state drivers SSDs that relied on flash memory chips instead of hard disk to store information. This is a picture of an internal internal structure for hard disk. Uh, as an example, we can consider DB2 INIDB. Disk mirroring is the process of uh, writing data to two separate hard disks at the same time. One copy of the data is called a mirror of the other. Splitting a mirror is, a, is the process of separating the two copies. The DB2 INIDB command initializes the split mirror so that it can be used as a clone database, as a standby database and as a backup image. As an error example we can consider this error message and uh, error information and a media controller in a lead device path uh, backslash, backslash backup backslash uh, xxxxx and backslash uh, 2012 11 of 08 uh, the problem uh, is because the specified path for sending the file was not one of those supported by the backup utility which in this case was a network drive so this is the ending of my uh, presentation uh, thank you very much for watching uh, this video.